Hey guys, welcome back to the Studley vlog. Today I'm going to teach you how to develop color 4x5. So the first thing you want to do is go shoot the film. So in my last video I went and I was shooting on some Portra 400 and yeah, care. yeah you want to go shoot, expose it, and then you'll have some film to develop. Now shooting 4x5 film is just like any other film. It's just a bigger sheet of film. So you want to take the film that you shot and you're going to take it into the dark, into your dark room or a dark bag, and you want to do this in the dark. Don't do it in the light. But you're going to load it into a tank, which is light proof, and you're not going to want to open it. Now we're going to mix some chemicals. I am using the Rolly Color Kit, which is a C41 kit, which I picked up at Freestyle, and it's about $76. So if you read the instructions on the kit, it comes with three different chemicals for the color developer. Also, of gloves during all this, um, the chemicals are pretty hazardous, and you don't want to get them on your hands. And of course, I made this video right when the coronavirus hit, so I had to pick up some more gloves, but everyone had bought them all up at the store. So I was stuck with trying to use a pair of some ones that were a bit too small, but after like, I think 20 gloves, I found a good set. Now, normally you would use distilled water, but I was out of it, so I just used some nice drinking water. So to mix the color developer, you're gonna wanna take some water and have your chemicals right here. I actually use these smart water bottles because they fit um, exactly 1,000 milliliters in there and you can seal them up so that no air gets in and they are super cheap. So when I pour the chemicals in, it makes one of the coolest reactions in film photography. You can see it here and it just totally changes colors. It's magic and then watch again. Whoa. Sorry, I'm just like super easily impressed by magical chemicals. So yeah, you're gonna mix it up and mix all the chemicals and give it a good shake and you're ready to go. So then you're gonna mix up your Blix, which is basically the color version of Fixer. So. After you've developed your film, then you put it in Blix, which fixes it so that it's light safe. And you basically just mix the chemicals and read the directions on the box. And it's pretty simple, honestly. You mix all this, you just kind of go by the numbers and boom, you're ready to go. So to make the chemicals last longer, they don't pre-mix them, so that's why you see me mixing up all the chemicals, because if you didn't, they would last about a month compared to six months to like two or three years if they're fully sealed in the box. So after you're done mixing up the Blix, then you're going to switch over to Stabilizer. And Stabilizer is similar to PhotoFlow in a way, but it's for color film. And so you mix it up, it's mostly just water and then a little bit of Stabilizer. And this is what you're going to dip your film in after you've washed it all. So I'm using a Jobo, and a Jobo is an automatic film processor which keeps your chemicals at the right temperature and rotates your film. So you get total even development. And then it also has spots to hold your chemicals to keep them at the right temperature. So here I'm just pouring them into the smaller containers, which is exactly enough to fit into the tank. So the most important part with color developing is getting the film to 101 degrees and if you don't your colors will get a little bit wonky and not turn out as expected so it takes a while to heat up sometimes but 
it's worth the wait. So once the water is at 101, then you are ready to go. And you're gonna start off with a nice water bath. So you're gonna fill it up with 260 milliliters of water. And you're gonna let that spin for four minutes. So one of my favorite things about using the Jobo is that this is the lift version. So you literally just pull this handle up and the chemicals pour out of it and directly into your container. So you don't get any chemicals on your hands and yeah it's just super easy so now i've put in my developer and i'm going to get that going and that goes for three minutes and 15 seconds so after that i put a little bit of water in and do about two to three washes i mostly do this because i reuse my chemicals and I don't want to taint the rest of my chemicals. So then you pour in your Blix, which goes for six minutes. And this basically takes your film and makes it light safe. And yeah, it's magic. After you empty out the Blix, then you're gonna take some water and I do about 10 to 15 washes of water just to make sure that everything's clear. And then I open it up and it's light safe and clean. So then I pour in my stabilizer, which is kind of a photo flow for it, which basically kind of leaves a soapy feel to the film. And you agitate this for a minute. And once you're done with that, then you can hang it up and then you get to sleeve them. So you can see how huge these negatives are. They're four inch by five inch and they're just massive. They have so much detail and color mixed in with them. It's pretty cool. And the cool thing with 4x5 is that there's different notches on the tops of the film, and that identifies which film you have. So you can see how big they are. This is a 6x7 negative, and here's a 35. And you can just see that it's literally a full roll of film. It's four sheets of 4x5. Well, thanks for tuning in to today's Studley vlog, and I'll see you next time.